what's going on adventurers welcome back to my channel my name is Zach Perry if you guys are familiar with my channel you know that I just drove over here from Orlando Florida and to see a good friend of mine Charlie and I've been here the last couple days and we've just been having a good time we went uh, originally to just a aquatic uh, state park I guess I forgot what it was called exactly I'll, I'll put the description down below but we just waited around the water for a little bit had a good time I worked my ass off uh, just because uh, the money I spent thank you so much you cigar? thank you sir thank you. driving to Orlando and Tampa but now we're at Fort DeSoto Park um, look at these artillery guns I mean this is this is intense, honestly. Get on, I mean, man the gun. I, I just, I couldn't imagine one of these firing off, but they did, and they protected this place, so. But really what makes this place significant is, if you guys remember, about a year ago with the uh, Brian Laundry Gabby Petito case, um, the Laundry family actually came out and did their fat last camping trip over here and really threw the whole investigation into a tizzy. He had Dog the Bounty Hunter out here, adamant that there was something out here. I mean, he was out here for a week. Um, I mean, this place really just went into the spotlight and really one of the more famous places when it comes to 21st century crime. I mean, in my opinion, I mean, one of the more notable, notable cases in the last 20 years. So just pretty cool to see See history. I mean, it's history in the 20th century with the actual fort, and it's history in the 21st century with the the murder. So, I mean, really interesting stuff in my opinion. So I guess these are old prison cells underneath the fort. And uh, let's see what's back here. Hey, you going there? Huh? You going there? I'm going. Yeah, guys, you do not want to be locked up in here. <laughs> It's nice and cool though, I will say. It's 100 degrees outside and probably a good 85 in here, so I mean, you're not gonna die of heat you know, if you're locked up. That's a good thing, right? All right, yes. Locked up and it's time to go to bed. Oh. Yo, Charlie. Oh, there you are! It's ratchet in here. Oh, well, apparently this, they didn't even put people in here. It was the dynamo room where uh, it was used to decide to provide electricity to fire the mortars and power the searchlights located between the battery and the beach. So, yeah, that's, this part's not a prison. This is crazy. I don't even know what this is. Just random, random pictures on the wall of, I guess, old establishments and old foundations. Um, Two-story barracks on the left and two-story post exchange on the right. So I guess this was the barracks and this was the post exchange. I guess the, this is just a room showing some of the old history. Got some pictures on the wall. Yo, that sailboat's about to get blasted. <laughs> that's just in one of the little... This is the data booth right there, and that's what it looks like inside. More guns right here. So that's our second set of guns that we've seen. They, like, shot these things. and like, how they knew where they were sh firing them. Like, you know what I mean? Like... Fire. Yeah, but they didn't know science a hundred years ago. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, I guess this is how we get on top of the fort. Let's do it. Shit. It's about a thousand degrees, huh? Man, it's like a hundred degrees out here. How you feeling, hot? It's hot. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, that's nice there though. I guess this is just like top of the fort, really nothing to it. Just uh I think it's disguised. Think about it. If your ship was out there and they saw this, they wouldn't. Oh yeah, I mean you obviously wouldn't know this is a fort if you're just you know sailing by. It's meant to look like that. Um 
And it's just like a lookout up here. You know, you come out here, look out, see if you can't see any of the enemy ships coming in, and I guess ring the bell, ring the alarm. Look at this. This is dope. Down at the beach now, it's I mean it's a hundred degrees. So I got you got to jump in this water. Or I'm gonna die. It's like a bathtub. It really is. I mean, this water is like it has to be like 90 degrees. I mean, like honestly, honestly, it has to be 90 degrees. I mean, it is Tampa Bay, so I mean, the bay notoriously gets really warm, warm during the summer. But these guys right here, they they got the right idea. Just casting their bait right up right up in that structure and I'm sure they're getting some some good stuff so right now as you can see this gentleman right here he's just casting his bait right up into the structure um, I'm sure you got some snapper some pinfish whatever whatever bites I'm not really a Tampa Bay native I don't really fish the Gulf of Mexico too often so I couldn't really tell you what's in here but it really makes me want to grab my pole and come do some fishing myself Definitely man-made. The rocks are kind of stuck together. Definitely man-made. It's a part of the fort. That's what it is. The fort in the ocean. Gotta be careful when you're coming over here because I mean look at if you brush up against that you are gonna get cut up 100% guaranteed. Looking right here, we got some stairs going up to it. Cool right here. I wonder, wonder where it leads to. I don't know. You guys, let me know. All right, so we just ended up leaving the fort and drove, what was it, south and out, oh, south or north, one of those directions. <laughs> we drove for uh, about five minutes and now we found this place called the Snack Bar because we are thirsty. Like I said before, I've been saying all video is hotter than hell, hotter than Hades, so we're going to get some drinks. Oh, uh, looks like nobody's getting drinks. Right. What the hell? All right, well, on to the next spot.